cassette tape. <laughs> Man, I remember when those first came out. Back in 1962, to be exact, this is the Phillips Company. Man, that was a big day. Revolutionary, to be exact. The cassette was invented in 1962, but it wasn't released to the public until the Berlin Berlin Radio Show in 1963, where it debuted, and that was that was a pretty big deal because they upgraded from the eight track to the small compact uh, cassette tape. Some call it a coincidence. I may call it an alien conspiracy that the year after Sony made Philips actually uh, license it for free. That's a little weird, you know. <laughs> Why do that for free? Introducing the cassette tape. This cassette tape is small, portable, and actually very affordable. They have the capability to record up to 26 or even 30 minutes per side. That's an hour. That's great. So these cassette tapes are historically significant. This significant because they revolutionized music to the masses. They are connected to the big history project story because they are an example of increasing complexity. <laughs> soon after the... Soon after the Sony Walkman in 1979 was introduced, two, three years later, the, the compact disc was invented. But... That didn't stop the cassette, it kept going. You know what, in fact, in 1988, the cassette adapter was invented, but it took it took about 10 years for this compact disc to outnumber the cassette in sales, because in 1991, that marked the first year that the CD officially was better than the cassette. But, you know, statistics. In 1964, mass production in Germany started for the cassette tape. The Rocco Carry Quarter 150 was also invented that same year when they started mass producing it, which makes sense. The pre-recorded cassette was sold in music stores in Europe in 1965, coined the term music cassettes. The Rocco Carry Quarter 150 that Philips released in 1964 made a million of sales in the U.S. in 1966. That's crazy. And 85 different manufacturers selling their own cassettes and recorders. By 1968, they had 2.4 million sales. Then, 1979, the portable Sony Walkman was introduced to the public, which made the, the cassette and music industry boom and younger crowds enjoyed them more. You were probably wondering how this has to do with, <laughs> with the Big History Project. But I'll tell you what, the first threshold, the Big Bang Theory, it created everything. And the cassette tape is made of matter, of elements. So that's, that's the first threshold. As you can tell, my cat's mad at me right now. But the second threshold, when stars light up, the universe cools down, and some elements are formed, hydrogen, helium, and that's in it. So, you know, after the stars light up, the, the next threshold comes, the formation of elements. When the stars, they blow up, they supernova, then they get the extreme heat, then it makes new elements, and there's a lot of elements in the cassette. After we have all of these elements, you know, all this stuff just hanging around, the formation of the Earth and our solar system. And to tie that in, is that you can't find a cassette anywhere else in the solar system, or even Earth, not that I know of personally. After we have our solar system and Earth, soon after that, a couple million years go by, life. Life just comes on Earth, and life made the compact cassette. So after life on Earth starts, the organisms, the living things, become more complicated, more complicated, and soon after, millions of years go by, humans dominate the world, because we know how to collectively learn. We can communicate. We can, we're we're more advanced than the other species. 
So by communicating, we are also we're able to teach each other different things and gain each other's knowledge from generation to generation. So after we start to collectively learn and try to get new ideas and everything, we uh, we have larger societies, so we need to feed these societies. So we start farming and the agriculture revolution is when is when we have a bunch of food for all these societies, all these people, when there's a, a surplus amount, that's when you, we can start really collectively learning and stuff, which will lead us into our modern industrial revolution, which is right now. So with the eighth threshold, the modern revolution, the cassette was a technological advancement that helped make society more complex. This funnel, so the cassette ultimately was part of this funnel that started all the way from the tele well, music wise started from the telegraph all the way to MP3. So if it wasn't for the cassette, who knows?